Hello, this is Dr. Charmaine Gregory, and I am super excited to be here talking to you guys live. Um, today, I wanted to talk about how you can reach your tribe, your people, those that want to hear your voice, even if you're shy, because I know that a lot of us are introverts. Right. We tend to want to be by ourselves. We tend to not want to be out there and like, hey, here I am, like others of us who are extroverts. So totally get it. And then you have a situation, you have a problem. Right. So you may be in a situation where you need to clients or you need to get um, business or you need to have patience or you need to have some way of communicating. You need to educate your people. You need to get your voice heard. You need to get that message out and you are just super shy. You're not sure how you're going to do that. Good morning, Michelle. Thanks for joining. You're not sure how to do that and you're just befuddled. Have no fear because there are some ways in which you can do this and they are simpler than you may think. So of course, I'm going to say the number one way is to start a podcast. And you may be wondering, how can I start a podcast? I don't have a radio voice. Or you may be saying, how can I start a podcast? I don't have a studio. You may also be saying, how can I start a podcast? I don't have a production team or an editing team. I don't have any of these things. Well, I just want to tell you that you can be a shy person. You can be a person that thinks that your voice is not ready for radio. You can be a person who thinks that you need a studio and you can still get your voice heard to your people, to your tribe anyway. So podcasting, why? Why podcasting? Well, podcasting is a tremendous force that is growing greatly in our society and is a great media through which or medium through which you can get the facts to your people. So say, for example, you are a dentist and you want to spread the information about a particular type of oral hygiene, or maybe you want to educate about what the effects are of eating healthy and your teeth and preservation of the enamel. How are you going to get that message out to the general public? How are you going to do that? One way that you can do that, obviously, is through advertisements. So you can literally do advertisements. But a more effective and probably more wide ranging and reaching way is through podcasting. So imagine if your voice could be the voice that's heard in the ears of those that you're trying to reach. Imagine that they're not having to go and search on Google for their answers. They're getting their answers from you and you're the expert. That's what podcasting can do. Podcasting has an incredible power and the power is far reaching. And how far reaching are we talking? Well, I mean, we're talking about mm, 100 plus million, like several hundred million people who listen to podcasts and who are impacted by podcasts. So why not let your voice, even if you're shy, or even if you think that your voice is not a radio voice, why not let your voice be the voice that your people are hearing? So what else is happening? Well, I'll let you know that big business has caught on to this, right? They are like looking at the trajectory of growth and they're like salivating because they know that this is a way to get in the ear of the people they're trying to advertise their goods and services to, right? So if big business is hip to it, why shouldn't you take advantage? So you may be somebody who has a small business, you know, maybe you're, maybe you have a, um, a coach business, maybe you have a, um, you have something that is like uh, on a smaller scale. Maybe you're a crafter. Maybe you offer a service. Maybe you offer um, transcription service or something like that. It doesn't matter. If you have a podcast, you could get your voice heard to your people. So perhaps if you are a transcriber, you could be getting that word out about what, is it, what does it mean to be a transcriber or a transcriptionist? What does it mean? How can it be valuable to businesses around you, to individuals around you? And you can get to these individuals by podcasting. So you could be shy, 
you could be in your home, just like I am, you can use a simple microphone like the one that is attached to your, to your telephone, to this guy, the microphone, phone set, this, you can use that. You don't need a studio. You don't need a, you know, you don't need a special production team. You just need you. That's it. So you are the thing that is necessary in order for you to be able to reach your tribe and podcasting the media through which this can be done explosively and extensively. So, you know, I said big business has caught, is you know, basically caught onto this and they have really doubled down. I mean, you look at Spotify, Spotify went ahead and bought Anchor. Anchor is a big um, platform that basically allows for you to do podcasting and it's free, but obviously, Free usually means that there's a way for the company to benefit through advertising, right? So there's that. But this is just to show you that if Spotify is, you know, dropping high dollar to buy companies like that, and this is the third company in the podcasting media realm that they purchased, and they're bolstering their armamentarium so that they can reach more people. And so, I mean, podcasting technically you know, it's not that old, right? I mean, you, you may remember listening to NPR, at least I do remember listening to NPR and as a radio program, but then realizing that I could listen to it on my iPod. Okay, yes, I'm really dating myself on my iPod. And that was podcasting. I was running or I was walking or I was exercising or I was doing something else and I was listening to the programs. So this is what I'm saying. That power 15 years ago was one was one at one level. Now we're talking about it being at an exponential level. And so you have a media that's growing like three, four times, 300, 300 to 400% each year. So why not be a part of that? Okay. So you may be saying to yourself, Hey, Marika, thanks for joining. Hey, Reza, thanks for joining. I mean, so you may be saying, well, you know, how can I get, how can I be a part of this? And just because, you know, I'm just an average person. I, people, I'm not a famous person. I'm not, it's not like when, um, like Jayla was start a podcast, something and she, you know, anybody would listen to anything she has, who's going to listen to me. Is this going to be, you know, my mom, a friend, a couple of friends, and then that's it. Listen, there is no reason why you should let that particular fear get in the way. Because let me tell you, if you have something that is valuable, which I know you do, and you have the, you know, you have the the desire to share that value, if you are looking for another way to market your business, market your brand, market the information or the advocacy that you are trying to uh, market, this is a great way. It's low low dollar great way to reach the masses. And so that's why I'm super excited about it. People are like, why you talk about podcasts all the time? The reason why I talk about it all the time is because it is amazing. It is far reaching and it's impactful. There is nothing more impactful and inspirational than when someone listens to your show and then they reach out to you and you say, you know what, Dr. G, because I listened to your show, I feel so empowered. I feel like I can face my fear. I feel like I can do it. I feel like I have the power within me. And so that's incredible. I mean, that is what it's all about. We're making connections with other humans. We're making connections with them and we are impacting them with the great value that we have to share. We are sharing our expertise and we are sharing it in a way that is going to impact those around us. You, we are putting our voices in the air of the people who are going to benefit the greatest from it. So our tribe. So if you're a dentist, if you're a doctor, if you're a counselor, if you're a teacher, podcasting is powerful. Imagine if you're a teacher and now during this time, you're having to do some adjusting as far as how you're reaching your students. Imagine if you did a short podcast about I don't know, multiplication and how, you know, and how you can use it in daily life. Imagine that. Imagine your students could just listen to that. They could listen to it while, you know, they're they're sitting in the, sitting on the couch. They could listen to it while they're doing a chore. I mean, you're the voice, the voice of expertise that's in their ear. What is better than that? There's nothing, right? There's no there's no substitute for that. There's no substitute really for 
someone or someone going and searching for something when they could be having your voice, your expertise in their ear instead, providing them with valuable information and really making a difference in their lives. So that's why I'm excited about podcasting, you guys. That's why it is something that I never imagined that I would love, but I truly love it. And it is an amazing way to be able to flex that creative side of you. And it is an amazing way for you to make an impact on the world around you. So you could be shy because guess what? You could podcast with the lights off and you could podcast in your closet. You could podcast wherever it is that you feel comfortable and you would still be making a tremendous impact on your tribe. So podcasting is a great way to reach your tribe, even if you're shy. And so, you know, it's in the same vein. I'm so excited about it because, you know, I have fears that I'm facing and the show that I do is basically based on fear, right? And, and facing fear, not just based on fear, but the people that come on the show talk about fears they've had in their lives. They talk about how they face their fears. Either they walk through it, over it, you know, punch it in the face, however they dealt with it, but then they share those pearls with those listening. And then for me personally, I have a fear of public speaking and it has been so, you know, it's been a journey <laughs> facing that fear. And you know, when I decided to face that fear boldly, it basically came with a two prong approach. The first piece was, you know, getting on more stages and speaking in, in front of more audiences in an attempt to mitigate my fear. The other prong is st was starting a podcast, right? So starting a podcast and just really sharing the journey and then having others come on and share their journeys. And so you get this amazing cascade effect. You get so many people being impacted, touched and inspired because then they realize that an average person can face fear boldly and have tremendous outcome. And so, you know, this is the, this is the reason why I love it. And, you know, so then, you know, this year I basically said, you know what, I have to keep pushing myself because I, I'm, I'm a believer that you have to keep pushing the boundaries of your comfort zone. You have to step outside of that demarcated circle that holds us back and you have to do things that are going to help you to grow the fastest. And the way that we grow the fastest is when we step outside our comfort zones. And so doing that in regard to facing fear, as long as it's not something that's acutely dangerous to you, right? So I'm not saying go out there and tackle that grizzly bear that you may be afraid of. That's not what I'm saying. So nothing causing you physical harm or damage, but I'm talking about, you know, the things that are in our lives that hold us back. Like we let fear hold us back from so many things. We let fear hold us back from achieving our true greatness. And, you know, if we just let go and go for it, if we just let go and become less comfortable, then that is when we see the most amazing breakthroughs and we definitely become our greatest selves. So, in that same vein, uh, the beginning, I was challenged in October of last year to answer the questions that I've been getting over the, you know, I've been getting lots and lots of questions regarding podcasting. How can I start? What can I do? And I've gotten all those questions. I've answered them individually. And then a good friend of mine, um, Dr. Maisha Claiborne, Claiborne, basically said, please stop doing that. Please put something together that's going to help to educate a group all at once and make it happen. And of course, my first first fear was, oh, my God, I've never done that. How can I do that? What, what will happen? Like, how can I even make that happen? And just as I didn't know what I was doing when I decided I was going to start a podcast, and I ended up taking a course to help me to get off that ledge, get off the fence and jump into it and face my fear very boldly by getting that going. The same thing occurred with developing a course that's going to help others to also get off that fence, face whatever fear is holding them back from getting in the air of their tribe by starting a podcast. And then that led to the development of a course that I ha I'm releasing actually next week and the course is basically going to help you step by step to get 
your podcast started and to get it off the ground and to get you in a position where you can boldly, even if you are shy, reach your tribe in some incredible ways, utilizing the amazing platform that is podcasting. So just, I just want, I'm just sharing and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really appreciate like every single person that has been supported over the last couple of years as I've been on this journey. It has been incredible. I appreciate all the support and I just want to pay it forward. I just want to help as many people as possible be able to face their fear in regard to podcasting, you know, getting the word out, getting their, getting their thought leadership out into the world and reaching their tribe, being in their air, spreading that, that incredible value that each and every one of you have to share because we are all experts at something and we all have value to add. And so what better way to do this than through podcasting? So I put together a course and it is phenomenal and I'm not being partial. Well, yes, I am. I'm being partial. And I want you to be able to participate in that because I want you to win. So I'm going to be doing a webinar talking more details about this and can help you to decide where the podcasting is right for you. And will also help you decide if you're ready to do the course and get your show off the ground so you can start crushing it. And the, um, the webinar is going to be held at www.podcastinglaunch.com. And I look forward to seeing you guys there because I just know that you're going to fall in love with podcasting just like I did. And you're going to start crushing it with your tribe because you're going to be the voice of reason that they're going to hear. And you're going to be able to provide them with the accurate expertise that only you have to give. And it's going to make a tremendous difference. So even if you're shy, you can reach your tribe by utilizing podcasting. So um, that's what I have to share for you, share with you this, today, this, you guys. And thank you for everybody who joined live. If you join on the replay, please press hashtag replay. My son is putting a thumbs up behind my head. I see him. And um, I hope that you guys have an amazing day. This is Dr. Charmaine Gregory. And I hope that you will be strong, be brave, and unleash your greatness.